right. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. And uh, basically, come out, do this video. And the name of this video is going to be um, the RFID has to be the mark of the beast. Okay? Without a shadow of a doubt, it's evident. It's clear as day. You know, to those that can see, obviously. You know? And uh, to those that truly, and all those, you have those people that don't have the full knowledge, wisdom, understanding of these scriptures, they can see it as well. You know? You got people in the world that, you know, know, that don't know the scriptures in its entirety and know when they read Revelation 13, uh, Revelation 13 uh, and, uh, and 16 that it's talking about the RFID chip, man. Okay, as you see before you, you know, I'm sitting in traffic, all right? <clears throat> Currently in this vehicle, there's no easy pass, all right? So you see, it, it, I'll, I'll just show it here. You see it, and it's just madness, all right? It's a bunch of madness, all right? Mm, Dominion, look at that, ain't that the spirit? Oh, electric supply company called Dominion, see that? All right, because that's what Esau wants. All right, Esau wants total dominion, man. Okay, and that's why we know it has to be the RFID chip to be the mark of the beast because the mark of the beast is total control. All right, it's total control. Okay, now I did a video yesterday on uh, basically on how uh, money um, can um, rule over you, can wind up, you know, grasping your spirit and. You know, if you don't have self-control and if you don't put your house shy first, okay? And that's what the RF, and, and, and let me say this first. Esau knows that by using his dollar, he knows that, that he can get the control in the minds of the people. Why? Because he knows people, they lust, okay? People uh, have a, 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 um, a problem with lust, especially here in America. People, have, uh, people here have a problem with uh, uh, covetousness. Uh, lasciviousness Okay Okay uh, uh, People in America Lack self control Okay And that's what ultimately what he's doing To the minds of the people In this system, in this society Through his structure Okay Is what? Getting you to depend on his system Alright So you have situations like this where you know, someone needs to get from what point A to point B. And for the sake of convenience, they're going to have, for the sake of convenience, they want to chip you. They want to put something in you, all right, to make everything flow a little easier, all right? Because if there was an RFID chip in every person in here, we wouldn't have this traffic, all right? Now, it's moving a little faster. However, now, another, the main point that made me want to do this video because as I was doing the video yesterday, I started to think after, you know, on how basically, like uh, one of the brothers in the camp, Zainali, he likes to bring out the, the point that everything that Esau does, everything that the Most High does on the right hand, Esau tries to mimic on the left. And Esau essentially wants what? He wants total control. Okay, now, the RFID chip is going to be the new form of currency, all right? Now, the word currency just deals with a form of exchange. Now, money and currency really are two totally different things. You can have a money, you can have money, but what is the exchange? What is the currency? Typically, it would be gold, silver, you know, or uh, 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 cattle, or if you didn't want to carry a cattle, all right? If you didn't want to carry a cattle, all right, which was which was money, all right. You would exchange that money for a form of currency and whatever that would be. You know that's why Yahweh Shai mentioned in the scripture, uh, whose money is this? Okay, when he when they asked him about paying his taxes, whose face is on the on this on this penny? Which was that? That was the form of currency. All right, you always had that in the ancient world. All right, you have that today. You have certain men faces on the form of currency within that land. Now, that currency, okay, represents a certain amount of money or it represents a certain amount of whatever. It can 
represent a certain amount of cattle. It could rep it, right now with the dollar and everything else, it represents a certain amount of gold. Okay? Now, the Most High is doing what with his people? All right? Mainly the elect. He's turning them the, into what? Fine gold. Okay? Through, through the persecutions, through the purging, all right? Through the sufferings, the elect is being made into fine gold. All right, so essentially Esau is doing the opposite on the other way around. All right, what he's doing is is basically trying to turn people <laughs> into that into a uh, uh, gold, if you will, or into a form of currency. Okay, and essentially, what is the highest form of idolatry? The highest form of idolatry is basically worshiping yourself. Okay, that's why when you read in Philippians, the fourth chapter, all right, it talked about, uh, 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 Paul said, I can do all things through Hamashiach who strengthens me, right? Because when you put Yahweh Shai first, you essentially put yourself to the side. And that's what the whole image of the beast is, is basically a form of worshiping yourself, all right? You don't need no one else. I don't need a higher power. I don't need no one else to tell me anything. All right? One second. How you doing? Can I get a receipt, please? Thank you. Yeah. So I don't need I don't need no one to tell me nothing. You not my uh, you not you not God. I can judge myself. That's the philosophy of the world, man. And that comes with the image of the beast, which turns into the to the mark of the beast, which what? Which represents that incision. And you basically gave everything up. You're giving up your soul. Just like going back to the Babylonian Empire. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, when the trumpet was blown, they all, everyone had to bow down to the golden image, man. Okay, and that new, we're in Babylon the Great, right? All right, it's not America, Babylon the Great. So in Babylon the Great, Babylon the Great is going to mimic ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon had a, had a, 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 a golden image that everyone had to bow down unto, man. And which what? If you didn't bow down to that image, you would be what? Throwing it to the, uh, 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 um, the fiery furnace. Now, which is going to be actually opposite <laughs> now. Okay? If you do bow down to the image and take that image, you're going to be thrown into the lake of fire, man. And torment through, uh, 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 with the holy angels, like the scripture says. Okay? So the whole the whole point of the matter is about putting your Howard Shy first, all right, in your everyday walk and getting in the habit of doing so. Because when when this deal goes down, all right, when all hell breaks loose, all right, no matter what status you are in the world on a global standpoint, either you're gonna be down with the beast or you're gonna be down with your Hashem Yahweh Shy. And it ain't gonna be no in between. Now you will have some people out there that, you know, basically that are uh, uh, good Christians. They they might even die because they didn't want to take the RFID chip. Okay. Essentially, it's all about the power structure, man. The powers that be. All right. The scriptures tell you that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. All right, so it's either just like back during the time of Moses, they wanted to store quail and manna. All right, why? Because the quail and manna, you know, was gonna. They thought that was gonna sustain them. And in this society, in this world. What we're leading, what we're getting into, what we're leading towards, all right, is a uh, um, 
uh, 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 substance or um, I think the word would be uh, substanti substantiality, if you will. You know, things things that you can uh, 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 lean on, man. Something that you can lean on, man. And inevitably, all right, people will people kill for that so-called almighty dollar, man. All right, you had a song back in, the, I guess, I think that was like the early 90s, early, late 80s. I know it was in the beginning of that movie, New Jack City. All right, for the love of money. Why, because the scripture said, for the, the love of money is the root of all evil. And the scriptures also tell you that what? An unjust soul loves gold, man. All right? So this thing is about balance, it's about temperance, all right? About um, 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 daily bread. Why? Because the way America is, America is all about excess. Esau, the so-called white man, the most carnal man that ever walked this earth, is all about excess. He can never have enough. Remember the scripture says that he wasn't even, uh, uh, because he's not satisfied with blood, that, that blood will, will pursue him, man. Okay? This man is never satisfied with anything. Okay? So, he wants to see who's rolling with his program, man. Who's moving in his manner, man. Okay? That's why the scriptures tell you in what? Hebrews, the fourth chapter, lest there be any fornicator such as Esau, okay, for one morsel of meat, sold his birthright. And that, that chapter, all right, it goes into, you know, basically being a son of the Most High, man, and depending on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, rather than you know, rather than benefiting and, and desiring your own heart's lust, okay? Give me one second, see if I can get it real quick. Uh, 12 We got cameras all over the streets and shit now You know In, a, in, a, in the city of Baltimore Where poverty level is Ridiculously low These people are ready to be servants man Real quick Right, enduring chastening, okay? The, the name of this chapter here in uh, uh, Hebrews 12, and uh, starting at 5, it says, uh, an exhortation to endure the Most High's chastening, right? Because when Esau comes down on the people, okay? When Esau comes down on the people, it's going to be about chastening. It's going to be about endurance, okay? So I'm going to just go. I'm going to start at verse 11. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. That's right, man. That's why I brought up the, um, the scripture where it talks about an... Uh, Sirach, the fourth chapter, I'll get it real quick, being faint-hearted in judgment, man, because when the judgment goes down in this society and in this world, you know, there ain't going to be no room for faint-heartedness, man, all right? Give me one second. This is uh, Sirach 4 and 9. Deliver him that suffered wrong from the hand of the oppressor. Right, because we're looking to be delivered from the hand of our oppressor. It says, and be not faint-hearted when thou sittest in judgment. Okay? So that's why I go into this chapter here, Hebrews 11 chapter, I'm sorry, the 12th chapter. It says, it says, wherefore lift up the hands which hang down 
and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet. Lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. What is the way? The way of righteousness, the way that you've been taught, stability, the knowledge, the wisdom. Okay? It says, it says, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men and holiness without, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of the Most High, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Okay? And that's going to be the ultimate way of being defiled is by you letting Esau put that chain up in your body, man, so to speak. All right? Esau, you be, when you when that chip is implemented and is made mandatory, it's ultimately saying, here, put my neck back in shackles or put my ankles and my, uh, and my wrists back in shackles. Ultimate subjection to Esau, man. Ultimate subjection to the flesh. All right? Script, keep going. It says, looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace, lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. How can you know? <laughs> how can you know that the so-called white man is Esau, but not understand that the, so, the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast? Let's let's say that again. The mark of the beast. What, what's a mark? A stamp, an imprint of the beast. If you know that the beast is Esau and the so-called white man, how the hell can you say it's Christianity? It makes no sense. When the concept of Christianity started from uh, basically with Constantine, Esau didn't come up with Christianity. All right? If you When you go further, the beast dealing with the uh, ancient Roman Empire and, and, and modern-day uh, uh, America and, and NATO, Okay, the ancient Roman Empire didn't enforce Christianity. So it's no possible way that the mark of the beast, okay, the mark of the, the New Age Roman Empire could be Christianity. Okay? Continuing on, it says, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright and essentially that's what you're doing when you when that's the ultimate test of your if you're going to sell your birthright for a morsel of meat because that's what they cut that's how they come in with the rfid chip look you want to eat right because what the esau say feed me this red pottage lest i be faint and die man okay and that's the, the time frame that we're coming in, that these people in this world cannot fathom at this time. They don't understand that they're going to have to be made, that they're going to have to make a decision, man, on whether or not either you want to you wanna eat or you're willing to put your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because the scripture says that I, I, uh, 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 all, all the days of my life, I've never seen the righteous begging for bread. So if you write with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you're going to eat. And that's all throughout the scriptures, okay? I'm going to just close off on this. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance. Yeah, and there's no repenting from taking the mark of the beast. So how the hell is it Christianity when uh, we all repented from Christianity? Because the scriptures tell you that any man that received this mark in their right hand or, uh, or, uh, or in their hands, it says, or on their forehead, shall be tormented with the holy angels. There's no repenting from taking the mark of the beast. It's impossible to be Christianity. Okay? It says, right? It says, he was rejected for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. 
okay? Just like the mark of the beast. It's going to be much torment, sorrow. That's why the scriptures, Yahusha said, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Okay? It says, For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burn with fire, nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest. See? And, and we know that's not talking about what the world calls hell. Okay? That's talking about the lake of fire, man. So it's the same story all throughout the scriptures, man. All right? You either down with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or you're going to die. And Esau is coming to fully push that before, and I'm sorry, Esau is coming to fully push that in the darkest hour to come, in the hour of temptation, man. Okay, and with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honest to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect.